Ms. Snyder was elected two years ago. Her four-year term is staggered two years, so she has been duly sworn. So 10 out of the 11 will be sworn in tonight. Well, please rise and raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your name. I am Jeremy Daniels. Okay. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. Discharge my duties as city councilor. Discharge my duties as city councilor. And at all times. And at all times. I shall uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. I shall uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cuyahoga Falls. The Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cuyahoga Falls. And the Rules of City Council. And the Rules of City Council. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Congratulations. I state your name. I am Mary Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. And the best of my ability. And the best of my ability. Discharge my duties as, as city council president. To discharge my duties as city council president. And at all times. And at all times. I shall uphold the Constitution of the United States of I America. I shall uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. And the Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cuyahoga Falls. The Charter and the Ordinances of the City of Cuyahoga Falls. And the Rules of City Council. And the Rules of City Council. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. I. I. Do you name? Paul Janus. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. To faithfully and impartially. To faithfully and impartially. And to the best of my ability. And to the best of my ability. Discharge my duties as city council clerk. Discharge my duties as city council clerk. And at all times. And at all times. I shall uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. I shall uphold the Constitution of the United States of America. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Constitution of the State of Ohio. The Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cuyahoga Falls. The Charter and Ordinances of the City of Cuyahoga Falls. And the Rules of City Council. And the Rules of City Council. So help me God. So help me God. Start out with service director, my appointee for that is Mr. Eric Zetley. Uh, 30 years of public service, uh, his credentials speak for himself uh, in the public sector. Uh, the constituents work for ODOT as well. Just a dedicated public servant. And before I even get into these, I guess I should have started that all four of the appointees, including myself, have been drug tested, nicotine tested. We all passed. Um, and also, before, I'm sorry, before I get into it more, that, that these four people tonight have been working since the first of the year, but they're not on payroll. They've been working for no pay, have logged well over 100 hours of their own time, and have been dedicated, again, and they're not on payroll. They don't have emails yet because they're not officially an employee. Hopefully after tonight that we can start paying them for their services. But I'm sorry, back to Mary, Mr. Zetley. Uh, dedicated public servant, energetic. When I came into work, he had already been out for an hour or two in a snowplow, riding around in a truck. So I think that speaks worlds for his dedication. We have a couple questions. What is the um, size of Barberton? How many residents? 26,550. <laughs> <laughs> well, minus one. <laughs> <laughs> gets theirs directly from HUD. Okay. So we're there, Arbiton is a direct entitlement because of its low income status. And we would, this past year, we received, not we, they, 630,000. 630,000. Nice. <laughs> and are there other questions from members of council? Members of the public? here tonight, Russ Balthus. He's my appointee. Uh, has worked in Columbus, first with the Attorney General's office and then in private practice as well, but has dealt with a lot of the public issues in all that time. Uh, energetic, 
ready to hit the ground. He's already worked. I couldn't tell you how many hours. Glad they're not billable. <laughs> yet, but, um, that he's going to do a great job. Spectacular guy, and we're glad to have him on. He sounds excited. We talked this afternoon. Very energetic, young. I felt a little old, but uh, <laughs> welcome aboard. Uh, my background is public finance. Um, historically, firms or cities always um, shop out their public finance work because you need an opinion of bond counsel in order for the bonds to maintain their tax exempt status. But what I hope to do is, given the experience I have in the private sector doing that, I would hope to negotiate a lower price from the law firm that would provide that work because I would probably be able to produce all the first um, first draft of documents and work with our bond counsel uh, to try to reduce their costs or the amount of time they would need to spend and pass the savings on to the city. Great. Uh, next we move to the Director of Finance. Mr. Brian Hoffman is here this evening. Uh, don't let his age fool you. He's <laughs> well versed in finance. He actually works for Job and Family Services, or did work for the county, and we lured him away from that. Uh, it wasn't an easy task, but he got it done. He oversees a staff of 20, which is larger than our finance department, certainly. Uh, has experience in budgeting and finance as well, and strict attention to detail. And again, he's worked countless hours since the first of the year. We must post it for two weeks. Is that correct or am I wrong? You can answer that. We did not advertise for these directors' positions. This is the second largest community in Summit County. And this is the best we can come up with. And this is nothing personal. Nothing personal, please. We may be great people. But the people that we had as projectors previously had years of experience. Most of them have been assistant directors before they became directors. This is a cause for concern. We know that we are not bringing in as much money as we're going to be spending. We know that. We have five unions that we have to negotiate here with. I would like to know how many of these directors have experience negotiating with unions. This is 75 to 80 percent of our city's cost. Are we willing to take this risk? Uh, boy, I just, I just shake my head. Council, I call upon you to do the right thing. Protect our city. We really need to. Thank you for your comments, Mr. Leiter. I would like to add that here's directors. So they do not fall under that of the city's ordinances. But they're even more important. Maybe we need to change the charter. Any other comments from the public? 